Hello, good morning. Welcome to my video. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. As you can see, I'm outside and I'm doing some black and white studies today and I uh, thought I'd take you along this little track. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera around, walk along so you can see a little bit of it. And uh, then I'm going to do a little bit of drawing and probably share some additional drawings with you back in the studio. So action packed and uh, black and white, hence the title. So I'll turn the camera around. So here we are. This is a walk I take very regularly up to the wonderful views that are lo loosely uh, browse, which you can see probably in the distance. I've already got my stuff set up and uh, you can probably see uh, the tripod set up and uh, my bag and uh, the ink and uh, the, the charcoal and that's what I'm going to use. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, looking at this particular view um, and if I pull back you can probably see more of the nettles which are really grabbing my attention this morning and I'm going to get going. studio now and I've got three works that I'm going to uh, just briefly talk about. The first two um, I did separately to when I demonstrated to you. Um, they are from a, a different lane going um, again around Mosley but uh, the other side of Mosley and that's not particularly relevant to what we're going to be discussing um, but just to say it was a different location and I did two there and then obviously the one that I've just uh, shown you me uh, working on. And um, I am just gonna just share some brief sort of comments about them really. 
And this is the first of the up the lane, down the lane works I did. And I'm just going to go in close so that you can see some of the marks and lines and variety because further away you don't get that sense of the variety of marks and lines and the depth in it and I think closer up you can see the variety so it's a mixture of willow charcoal, graphite, uh, pencil and black Indian ink of which there's only a, a small amount of black Indian ink and that's in the front of the image here. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, and here's the second one I did looking in the other direction. And there's an element of representation about it as well as a kind of looseness and expressiveness about it. I wasn't trying to push it in any direction. I was just going with the flow, so to speak, to sort of use my hand as a way of narrating what I was seeing and feeling um, and trying to to sort of demonstrate the movement and the ramshackle randomness mixture of it all and the kind of the depth. I didn't want a flat image, obviously, but I didn't want to play around to do anything with perspective. There's no measuring or anything like that here. There's a sense of, through the white and the dark space, you get a sense of the masses, which gives it a representational look to a point. But then the looseness is overlaid over that, and then I rub out and move back in. So hopefully that gives you some... And, and these aren't necessarily going to be used in any other way than to give me an understanding and kind of remind me of the feel of that, that place and of those wild edges as I'm calling them at the moment which is kind of linked to my edgelands but sort of something different focusing on the planting. And finally this is the third one and the one that you saw me working on outside and since coming back um, I've added uh, more dark and, and some white chalk as well which I will um, go in and show you. Um, so the pot on the left there has now got my white chalk and um, I'll go in to show you the sort of tangled mess and the way in which I've put the white chalk around and through um, and intermingled with the um, ink, which was the last thing that you probably saw me uh, do, or the, at least the thing on the top layer. And uh, it's in no way representational, but it's not completely abstract either. And just to say that these are start points for me. They're ways of me understanding and exploring um, the subject matter. As you know, I do huge numbers of different types of studies. So this is just one thing I'm trying. And I always change and vary them around anyway. And I've, I've varied this around already. And what I don't know yet is what whether or not I'm going to uh, tear some of these up and reconfigure them. Well, probably not reconfigure them entirely. What I may actually do in the first instance is do some black and white collages from them, just using them as a basis, not tearing them up. And I may do some sort of uh, tearing up studies with some of them as well. But just to really explore and under start understanding what it is I'm interested in amongst this lot. And I must admit, I do love to use uh, charcoal and um, messy media. And uh, this sort of loose approach is really nice. And I've done it on paper, but I will revert to sketchbooks as well. Um, as some of you might know, I'm going to be developing a sketchbook uh, course, uh, which I am going to be releasing in the autumn, hopefully. Uh, anyway, that's an, an aside. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.